from the KTVB News Group, this is a special presentation of the 2019 McCall Winter Carnival. Now to our live coverage of the iconic Mardi Gras Parade in downtown McCall. Welcome to McCall, Idaho, the city by the lake, Payette Lake sitting over there, and we are starting the Mardi Gras Carnival Parade right now. This is amazing. Thank you for joining us. Brian Holmes alongside Bree Eggers here on this fine afternoon. It is gorgeous out here. Unbelievable. The streets are lined about 10 deep as you take a look behind us as this Mardi Gras Parade is underway. This is an amazing All experience. Right. If you're not well, here, you can watch started. it with us, but it is an amazing time to be here. It is incredible. We've got the sunshine to warm us up and some sweet dance moves, which we've been seeing happening all around us. They love it. They get them all pumped up for the parade. The 54th annual McCall Winter Carnival taking place. This all started back in 1924 because of the pay at Winter Games. Way back then, they brought 248 people up on a train from Boise. Now, it is just exploded. They expect 60,000 people, upwards of 60,000 people, beginning this weekend all the way through next weekend. It is a sight to see with all the snow sculptures and, of course, events like this parade, this Mardi Gras parade. So you're going to see beads, you're going to hear some music, you're going to see some dancing, <laughs> and it is going to be a blast. And we've got the American Legion band, or American Legion coming through with the colors uh, right now to get things kicked off. Bree is going to head down onto the street and give us a closer look at some of these floats. Brian, and we were talking about it before. I'm a local here. I grew up in the Treasure Valley, and we come to McCall all the time, but I have never been to the Winter Carnival. This is my first year up here. Amazing. So this is going to be an experience for me as well to, to get in on all of the excitement and meet some of these people who have come out all of these years. So I'm pretty excited about this. You are in for a treat. And speaking of local, we have Lindsay Harris who's going to join us up here a little later. She's on the McCall Chamber of Commerce. She grew up here in McCall. She knows everything about McCall. Went away, went to school, came back because this is where she wants to, yeah. wants to live, much like you've done. Because this, as you take a look and you see the support that this community has, what a great place All this right. is Lady to be and to live. So we're going to send Bree down onto the street and we're going to take a look at the American Police. Legion coming down the pike here. This is right down 3rd Street. Officers heading uh, north, right toward Payette Lake. This is the American Legion Post 119 that is heading our way, carrying the colors. So please help us welcome the American Legion, our official flag bearer and honor guard of the parade. The American Legion Post 119 is proud to lead today. They have 82 members, a part of that 119 post, that provide scholarships and programs for our area youth. This is the American Legion giving back to our community. Just in front of them as well, we have McCall uh, Police Department and ISP cars representing on this uh, Mardi Gras parade today. And I want to welcome in Lindsay Harris here, who is uh, joining us here up on the truck overlooking the parade. We're going to get down there and take a look at uh, what Bree has to offer in just a bit. But Lindsay, uh, this, is, this is an amazing thing. You, you've grown up here, so you've, you've experienced this all of your life. Yes. What's it like to be a part of the McCall Winter Carnival and the Mardi Gras Parade? I have to say, today was the first time I've been able to be up above and see it from um, up high. And it's just remarkable, all the people that come out. It may be the happiest place in Idaho yeah, today. <laughs> it may be the happiest place in Idaho all winter. It, it is amazing. Is. This is amazing. The, the, the town support, the community support, Idaho yes. support. We have met people here yesterday that come in from Portland. We met people here on years past from all over the world that come to this town just for this event. There on social media, there was a family that commented on our photo. They were coming all the way from Kentucky. Never been here. And somebody from the community actually wrote to them but down below and said, welcome to McCall. We're so happy to have you here. It, it is great. I mean, because you take a look. Some of the shots that we're going to show you today, we're going to show how deep these lines of people are all the way up. Almost all the way up to the mill, I want to yes. say. Yep. It is, it is amazing. So these are not computer-generated people. These are people that are here to have some fun and they're going to enjoy their time here this afternoon. And here we have the McCall Fire and EMS coming down right now. Uh, we have 43 responders, a part of this group. Volunteer, full team, all alike. Uh, full time, I should say. They respond to more than 1,000 calls annually, including fire, medical, rescue emergencies. 
The mission for them, provide community, the community with caring service that exceeds expectations. They do public education, they do tours, car seat installs, all of those things that come along with it. Smoke detector, I mean, that's very important, especially up here with all the fires you need to keep warm in the wintertime. Totally, and second homes and everything else that we have to monitor as well. They're an exceptional group. They pour their heart and soul into what they do, and we love having them around. You're also going to see everybody throwing out some beads because it is a Mardi Gras parade, and the kids are here because they throw out buckets and buckets of candy. How much candy do they throw out here today, Lindsay? Oh, goodness. Albertsons, they ordered a, a whole pallet of sealed candy. So um, I would imagine they went through it all. They went through it all. So get to know your local first responders there. They're going to fill the boot today to raise some money for muscular dystrophy as well. Or you just cheer on the stair climbers. There's a stair climbing competition coming up. Is that today? It is. They were there last night, and they'll be there again today, 4 to 7, during the live music with Innocent Man. And then we also have a live painter who's going to be speed painting down there to raise money for Hodiah um, Camp for Diabetes. So. That is awesome. So the stair climbing thing is very, very cool. And we already saw the McCall Police Department and ISB. We have Idaho First Bank. Rolling through right now. They're sponsored for this year's Mardi Gras parade. They are. They do it. They've done it the last few years, and uh, they're a wonderful community of folks. They are the world headquarters, boys. <laughs> world headquarters in McCall. So yes. they're all over the world, like most banks. They survive locations in Idaho. But they are, oh, look at that, all festive. So the theme this year for the McCall Carnival, the Winter Carnival and the parade is legends, myths, and superheroes. And you're gonna see a lot of that today. Yes, definitely. We, um, we're really excited about the theme. It really gave some people some creative latitude. So it looks like they're taking, taking it in the serious consideration. And in that Jug Mountain Ranch a Humvee right there are our Grand Marshals. There are yes. six of them this year. There are. We we wanted to honor our local heroes, so we reached out to our police departments, um, fire departments, ski patrol, and uh, search and rescue. So, and we incorporated all of the communities from all the way from uh, Donnelly, Cascade, McCall. So it's regionally represented today. And you can see them with some of the rescue crews in the Grand Marshal car there in the Humvee. We got Jamie Barham, Bearheim, excuse me, Mark yeah. Tapscott, Ron Jones. He's at Adams County Sheriff's Office. Megan Myers, the Valley County Sheriff's Office. Earl Dodds from the Payette Lakes Ski Patrol, and Heather Theory from the Tamarack Resort Ski Patrol. I mean, that is a huge part of, of this area, Valley County, with all of the terrain in the wintertime for snowmobilers and just uh, cross-country skiers, snowshoers, everything. Heather actually is with her avalanche dog, Bergen, today. He's a large German Shepherd. I saw him up there. There he, he is. He is. He's a gentle giant. And, of course, Jug Mountain. Mayor Motoring our very own Mayor Jackie Amen. We thank Jackie and her husband John Claude for their time and wisdom supporting our community. Jackie's been out since These fire trucks, I mean, this is something you guys don't see a lot of this in the wintertime, but in the summertime, you guys are very active when it comes to uh, wildfires and such as well. I mean, that's a big part of this community. Fire suppression is um, vital to us, and they these organizations also do a lot of education for homes and how they can fireproof their property, clear debris, um, but it can save lives and homes. So. And I believe we have McCall Mayor Jackie Amon coming up. Is this in this truck here? You know, I just saw her go by. She already went past. She did. We missed her. But um, Jackie has been on city council since 2010. That's amazing. I know. And she's been the mayor for six years. She is like a bright light in our community. And uh, she loves kids. She loves what she does. So. She loves, I mean, she has a lot of spirit. She's a former gymnastics coach in Boise yes. State, so she brings all of that with her yes. as the mayor of McCall. Southern Idaho Timber coming up next. The Timber Protective Association. The Southern Idaho Timber Protective Association committed to the preservation and protection of the forest lands of West Central Idaho. We want to thank them for all that they do for our lands for 115 years. Since 1904, they've been doing that. That's they, amazing. There's a neat sculpture over there as well that people can see in honor of their beginning uh, firefighters. So. Oh, Donnelly Public Library. Here comes the City of McCall Library. Is that the, the Donald? Yes. yes. Excuse me, the McCall, McCall Public Library. And they are reading superheroes up front. You can see that. They do that. They have a great program through the McCall. Look at Thor on top. That is awesome. Is. He's writing on top. That's amazing. And they have two others writing on top. Um, the public library has so many free programs for kids and adults. They are truly a learning hub. So be sure to check them out. Here's a stat you probably didn't realize. I mean, the population of McCall is what? 3,500. 3,500, but more than 5,000 people have library cards here at the 
McCall Library. So you can tell, depending on the season, how much the population here flexes. Because when you're up here, you got to have a book too, right? You want to just chill and read? Exactly, or use the internet. Or... And we've got McPaws up next, the McPaws Regional Animal Shelter. McPaws here with several of the shelter dogs, and every year they're looking for people to adopt these dogs. The only animal shelter within a 100-mile radius of McCall. It's a no-kill animal shelter, and it takes in nearly 600 animals each year. They offer many services in the community, including adoption. So let's go down to Bree Eggers down there right now. She's down there with McPaws to get a little first-hand perspective. Bree? Brian, I get to meet some of these fun friends here. So who do you have? We have Dolly here. Dolly is a four-year-old um, retriever mix. Awesome. Awesome. And McPaws takes in how many animals per year? About 600. We service about 600 animals throughout the year. Yeah. Well, this seems like a, a nice sweet one to take home. Yes, absolutely. She's adoptable. Love that. Look at all of these buddies still continuing down the road. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. Brian? Well, thank you, Brian. Tomorrow they're hosting the Monster Dog Pool at Alpine Village, and that starts at 11 o'clock in the morning, goes to 1 o'clock. You can watch dogs of different shapes and sizes pull weighted sleds down a short track, and they're going to compete for best time in each weight class with no experience necessary. That's coming up tomorrow at 11. And you're watching the Children's House Preschool go by right now. That is Miss Jeannie's yes, learning and play go hand in hand there. She has been in uh, business for many decades, and uh, I don't know, she's a she's a trademark for McCall for children's care. Check out these machines. This is the McCall Snowmobile Club. The McCall Area Snowmobile Club been promoting and supporting the sport of snowmobiling in the McCall area for more than 35 years. They've got everything for your shapes inside. Look at the back. So those little small sleds in the back yes, are amazing. Perfect for kiddos. They, they got some vintage sleds, too. They do have some vintage sleds. And the club members <laughs> host an annual fun run, which will be held Saturday, February 2nd. That's next weekend. And the annual Disabled Veterans Ride in conjunction with members of the Idaho State Snowmobile Association. That is a great program. They take them out and show them what we're all about up here. Let's I'm go down to Thor. I I'm should say, Bree Eggers, yeah, who has me Thor. What's going on here. It's just wild. There's so many people, and everybody's having a really good time. It's just the best day ever. And you're the god of thunder, but you're okay with the sunshine? I am, so I'm bringing this down today. It's awesome. A great way to keep warm. And who else do you have with you on your float here? Well, what we did was we got all of our grandchildren together. So we're past, present, and future, and we're really focusing on the future of snowmobiling. We're year-round club, so come out and enjoy. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Thor. Rock on. Yep. He's Thor bringing has, the thunder. He has no superpowers here today because it's nothing but sunshine. We will see no thunder here today. Take a look at those snow bikes. Those yes. are amazing. You guys have snow bike races this week as well. They do. They start right after the parade down at Riverfront Park, um, which is near the Smoke Jumper Base. Mountain Community Transit is actually providing transportation out there. Sponsored by Up next, we have Lake, Lake Cascade Sport Marine. They're located in Cascade. They offer sales, service, rentals of Arctic Cat and snowmobiles. Stop by to see their 2019 new lineup of Arctic Cat snowmobiles. They have ice fishing equipment. They got everything you need to get outside. They do. Ice fishing is a huge thing around here. There's our McCall Daycare and Learning Center. <laughs> providing the best child care and education in McCall. Look, they're all dressed up in their superhero they, outfits. They brought, they brought it today. I don't, I don't know you can find a superhero costume within 100 miles of McCall right now. They're all out here today. There's a beat. There you go. <laughs> Almost. They're celebrating the legends of winter, the goddess of skiing, and the god of snow today. Yes. Important aspects for our recreation here. This is a cool program, the Adaptive Wilderness yeah. Sports of McCall. This is awesome. Next. Literally, and that's the title. <laughs> they are awesome. These are a passionate group of people that want to bring adaptive sports to all, um, and they make it possible. They provide participants and volunteers opportunities to learn new skills, challenge themselves, and work together to enhance health and self-confidence. They work in conjunction with Brundage Mountain to offer ski and snowboard lessons for people with disabilities. I just, you can't say enough about that because it's so great to get people to get out and experience it, feel what it's like to be a part of this community. I, I, I got to be a part of that um, when a kid got to snowboard for the first time. Really? And they were able to, he had a, a foot condition, but they found special boots for him. 
and they fitted him, and he, I'd never seen somebody happier than that day. They made his dreams come true, literally. That is amazing. Well, I know we got a big group coming up here next, one of the ones that uh, is always a fan favorite here at uh, the McCall Winter Carnival, and the Mardi Gras Parade. I see her just a couple of floats down. Hey, I got some beads heading at us. That'll take that. We'll Direct take that hit. one. Direct hit. We'll take them. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying our coverage of the McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade. As I mentioned, they are packed in. There is candy and bees being thrown. And uh, it, is, it is an amazing experience to be here in McCall for this and experience all of this. Yeah. I mean, you, you move back. What made you want to move back to McCall? Um, exactly this, the community of people, I mean, the amazing well, recreation, and, here, I mean, you, when you look out your window and you see the mountains, um, you know you're in the right here. place, so it's uh, right definitely here. the people of this community that make it so special, and when we, people well, come Tracy, and visit, we want them to experience that, and hopefully we'll take a little bit of that with them when they go the to way, maybe the hustle and bustle of their lives, wherever they came from, that they realize to take a breath and take a pause and be kind to one another. And we take care of each other here, and uh, it's one of the one of the best things about us. I know this is a lot of work for you guys to put this festival on this this uh, every year, and you kind of jumped in with both feet this year. Is it worth it? When I'm standing here today, it definitely makes it all worth it, 110 percent. It's funny when you get kind of mired down in the details. Uh, yeah, but it's all you worth it. Be? All right, well, let's go ahead and check down on the streets it's now nice with Bree down there. We got some fans along the parade route, Bree. Oh, Brian, this is fantastic. Look at all these guys. They're lining the streets, catching the beads, and candy, too, right? It's raining. 30% chance that it's already raining candy and beads. Tell me what's been your favorite part so far. Um, It's been super fun getting all the beads and screaming. I love all the different floats. It's super fun. Is this your first time out here? Well, I live in McCall, so this is like my third, but I think this is my favorite year so far. You love coming out. Have you been out before, or is this your first time? Um, this is, I'm her sister, so this is also my third time. And yeah, I think this is, has been my f favorite float. Uh -huh. The best parade so far, but I think some of that has to do with the fact that the weather's fantastic. You're not too cold, right? No, I'm not cold, actually. How do you stay warm on a cold day? Because I'm good. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You guys, cheer for the camera. We've got, we got more floats coming down the road here. Yeah, we're having a good time. You could say that about all, I want to say 20,000 people maybe lying I, in the streets here. Yes, I it, would definitely say at least. Well, I want to put a face to a name. We have Lindsay Harris. You've been hearing her voice throughout the parade here. Welcome again. Thank you very much for joining us, joining us with this. As you mentioned, this is your first time experiencing this from up here. It is. Uh, you can look up and down these streets. Where do all these people go after this? <laughs> They disperse. A lot of them go to the snow bike races. Yeah. Um, the depot park, beer garden will be open, live music, and we'll have DJ music after this. Live music starts at four. Um, they kind of they kind of start. It's probably a time to see the snow sculptures. I want to do want to highlight. You can go all the way to the top of Brundage Mountain to see their amazing um, Uller sculpture. It's one of the best. It's it is remarkable. Activity barn, um, the tubing hill. They have a snow maze. They partnered with Morel Excavation and Construction to. Construct Construct a snow maze that was inspired by a social media post on our page that went viral, and wow. uh, put the put the wheels in motion. And they were the people for they had the space and they found the manpower. So um, we're uh, that that's one you can go see, and it's free to do the maze. That is awesome. That's one thing you could do. One of the many things you could do this weekend and this week up here in McCall. We're going to toss it down to Bree Eggers really quickly because she has one of the fan favorites here for the Mardi Gras Parade. Look who it is. Look who it is. Adam Mayfield. <laughs> Get out of here. This is your 25th year out here. Is that right? Tell me, what's this like for you? I'm tired. You're already. Tired. You're tired already, but you're staying warm, and you've got an amazing outfit on. Thank you. Thank what was the thought process behind this amazing outfit? Oh, masks and myths. Masks and myths. Oh, Etta, you and your friends keep having fun and rock on today, all right? Good to see you. That is. Ryan, it was Etta Mayfield. And her wacky friends. It is amazing. You are watching coverage of the 2000, the 2019 Mardi Gras Parade, all part of the McCall Winter Carnival. Thank you for watching. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more from 3rd Street here in McCall.
and welcome back to the McCall Winter Carnival 2019, the Mardi Gras Parade, and there is Miss Boise 2019. She's from McCall, amazingly so. Making us proud today, I'm She is girl. awesome sitting atop that car there, <laughs> heading that corner. From McCall, and she is Miss Boise, that's Peyton Frederick. She uh, calls McCall her home and a junior now at the University of Idaho. That just covers a lot of ground. She Moscow, does. Moscow, McCall, full, Boise. Yes, almost the whole state. <laughs> up next, Citizens Against Poaching. You can step up Citizens Against Poaching in Idaho Fishing Game K9. K9 Blue is the newest Idaho Fishing Game K9 unit in the state. It's a three year old black lab retriever trained to track humans, detect wildlife, and conduct evidence recovery. He even has his own badge and proudly wearing it today. Check him out. He's he smelling all kinds awesome. of scents on that street right now. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yeah. He's probably a little overwhelmed right little. now. <laughs> <laughs> because he has 40 times the ability to smell things than we do, which is amazing. The local Idaho Department of Fish and Game District Conservation Officer Marshall Haynes and his son are riding in the back of that truck as well. The Citizens Against Poaching truck reminds you to make the call when you witness a poaching violation. Up next, Little Sprouts Kitty Campus. Look at these guys. <laughs> They're having a great time. They're fun and energetic staff members treat you and your children like family, and they plant the seed in your child's education. How appropriate. Look at the cityscape that they've created for their float. It is unbelievable. Up next, though, the alpaca woobies. Bree, you got one of those right there. I'm meeting Sebastian here. <laughs> this guy, he loves coming to McCall for the Winter Carnival. you got to stop and admire your fans. <laughs> yes, Sebastian, are you having a good time? Absolutely, yes. This is the second McCall parade. Oh, the second and the best one that he's been to so far. Awesome. And who are you? Annette Canada of Alpaca Woobies. Awesome. And how about this? Are you second or second? Uh, yes. Yes, it's sunshiny today. The sunshine makes all the difference. You guys keep having fun. I, Sebastian's taking off. He's not waiting for you. <laughs> Have fun, you guys. He's got some ground to cover today. <laughs> and you can celebrate 10 years of business with Annette and Sebastian by going back to their farm. Visits are free, Visits they say. are free. They're out off Gold Fork Hot Springs Road. Yeah, on Thunder Mountain Ranch. So yes. go by, say hi to Sebastian. And Annette, and here we have Les Schwab. Les Schwab they have their mobile service truck located conveniently here on a Dinerd Lane. They're home of the best tire value promise. These guys are always ready to help you out, even if you're passing through town. We get we've gotten lots of compliments from visitors that have said they've helped them out in a pinch. I've never gone into a Les Schwab where they said, "No, can't help you right now. Can't do that." Exactly. That is not their forte. The YMCA camp at Horse Thief and Reservoir, the YMCA camp at Horse 415 Thief acres, Reservoir. Camp at Horse a they facility in Cascade offering summer resident camp, outdoor education, camp, retreats, camp, conferences, and wedding services to all of Idaho. We just had a leadership, the West Central Mountains Leadership Academy had their retreat out there, and they um, took great care of us. How many, of these how many of these people here have spent some time at the Horse Thief Reservoir? I mean, it, a part of YMCA camp, I mean, countless and countless over the years. Totally and also just the recreationalists out there too. Lakeshore Disposal, they've taken great care of us every winter carnival. They help us out and they donate um, hand carts and trash cans and dumpsters and they, uh, they, they take good care of us. So we're You guys couldn't do this without them. No, I mean, this whole event is, it's amazing, the generosity of people, from Make snow sure removal to trash um, to our porta potties. <laughs> you gotta do the it. The less glamorous things, but the vital parts. And they have just as much fun as anybody else. You can see the wig inside the truck there, Lakeshore Disposal. <laughs> Up next, how about this band, Shore Lodge? And yes. they say they're in the Batman universe. So oh, no, have, this is not Shore Lodge. There was, this. A, there, was a, there was a, looks like they got a little, they changed the, uh, but we have the McCall Donnelly High School pep band, who Graham Pinard, the instructor, was my teacher back no in high school and middle school. He is, uh, he puts a lot of passion into what he does in inspiring these kids with music, so. The McCall Donnelly Vandals. Yes. Let's take a listen to what they have to say.
All right, that is the McCall Donnelly Vandals playing their way around the corner from 3rd Street on to Lake Street. And we got a little bit of a gap here in the parade right now, so we are going to take that opportunity to take a quick break, and we'll be back with more from the 2019 McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade right after this. And welcome back to the 2019 McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade coming down 3rd Street. It is an awesome experience. Lindsay Harris alongside me, Bree Eggers down on the road, and right now we got the Shore Lodge. It seems to be some sort of Batman universe taking over the Mardi Gras Parade, Bree. I hear the theme song playing. We're so excited. We've got the, the evil side as well as the good side. Who are you? My name is Poison. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Alongside Batman. We got to ask him to say it. Batman. Batman. Oh, he's, he's got to get the Joker. I don't know if I want to get wrapped up in this. It, it seems like it might get a little, a little wild. There he goes. He's getting the Joker. Catwoman's here. Catwoman. We got the whole crew. Absolutely, Harley Quinn. Awesome. We got everybody from Everybody's Markham. involved, and that Batmobile was so fast, Brian, that he just took off. He just took off. I believe that was Penguin inside of there. I'm not sure. It's a hot ride, or I think it was Alfred. Alfred, I think, is inside the he Batmobile. Said, I asked him for a ride. He said there was no room. Nope, it's a one-seater. Next time. Next time. Well, I want to hear. Is that Bruce Wayne I see down there? I'm looking for him. Is it? Is he's it still Bruce chasing? Wayne? He's still chasing Brian? the Riddler right now. <laughs> he's got a job to do, Brian. I see that. I, I see that. I don't know why you think he'd have time to stop and talk to me. He's got to bring order back to the universe. Watch out. Nicole here comes Carnival. the Batmobile coming back at you. Alfred to save the day. This is awesome. They've Look gone out, all out, haven't they? They bring it every year. Their staff is amazing. This is Look how into character they are. They're not flinching. They are definitely their characters. Once again, this is the Shore Lodge entry into the, Mar the Mardi Gras parade. They have villains. They have superheroes. You said we got Harley Quinn. Looks like we got Bat. Uh, we got the Penguin. We have Catwoman. We have Poison Ivy. And we got a couple of escape prisoners from Markham Asylum down there as well. And they put on the show here for the fans. And of course, throwing out some candy out of their money bags, which is amazing. And up next, we have the Brundage Mountain Ski Resort coming up here. Yes, look at that. They have Gotham. Oh, that's part of Shore Lodge. We got Gotham City. Oh, that Still is Shore Lodge. Still going strong. Looks like their scene has taken some time to play out. It is, because behind that they have the Riddler Mobile, the Joker they Mobile. Do. And the Batmobile has made his way back there. He's cruising around. 
That is amazing. That is a lot of fun. Look at that. They, they really go all out. Gotham City looking dark and scary. And that's what this parade is all about. People get so into it. This is their time. The one time a year they get to do whatever they want out here when it comes to costumes and decorations. Yes, let the freak flags fly, as they say. Exactly. <laughs> I think every character from the DC universe has been represented here today. <laughs> I think so, too. That is amazing. We got some Clydesdales coming up next. Oh, yeah, beautiful horses. This looks like this is Brundage Mountain. This is Brundage this Mountain. This is Brundage Mountain. That's yeah, who that is. So those are the horses for the sleigh rides out at the activity barn as oh, well. Oh, nice. So those um, you can you can make reservations with the activity barn to get on that. And on board the back of their floated the goddess of skiing. I believe it's Scotty. I S K A D I. I, I like want to go with that. Let's go with that. And the god of snow, which is Urler. U L L R. And Bruno. Bruno, their bear, is up there, too. Bruno, the bear. Followed by Idaho State Parks and Rec, surrounded by uh, the scout, the fox, is on board there. And the Junior Rangers promoting outdoor learning. That's got to be a fun thing to be a part of. I mean, because, again, our proximity to the National Forest here. Totally. They're programming for kids with the Junior Rangers. They also have the Master Every Naturalist program for adults. Um, I talked to one of the parks per people, and they said uh, the year before last, they had 70,000 cars that they that came through the park. So times that by three people, let's say. So they have quite quite the amount of volume that comes through that park. With, um, they do a lot with their staff to keep it looking pristine and beautiful. And while the National Forest saw a little bit of a shutdown, the state parks wide open during the last wide month. Wide open, yes. And there is CM Backcountry Rentals and Adventures. Making that corner. <laughs> Man, that's going to be a tough one. Let's see how they do this. This I is think pretty, pretty have impressive. To, have to push the crowd back. They could fill that trailer with a lot of stuff. And they have snowmobiles, backcountry guided adventures in the winter, and they also rent UTVs in the summer. And that's kind of turning out to be a big deal, these UTV rentals and some of these Razor tours that are around town. Yes, definitely people are looking for new ways to get around in the woods. Restoration North, always ready to get and dirty oh, Restoration ready to get North through there because they'll clean it up. Their services That's include water more. removal, mold, rem mold remediation, fire and smoke cleanup, storm cleanup. They also remove asbestos and they do reconstruction, just to name a few of the things that they do. They are committed to everybody there and they go above and beyond. And up behind them, Two, got a little bit of backup, so we get through some of these here. We got uh, KDZY 98.3 and Star 95.5. I've been into a couple of businesses around town, and they've got either one of those stations on, listening to them. It's uh, radio is not dead up here. No. Since, since it's rural, radio is definitely a good way for people to advertise, for announcements, for the community. Um, they've done a great job of uh, integrating and uh, getting messages out there for us. The paper in town uh, does once a week, is that yes, correct? Yes, the Star News comes out on Thursday, so print and radio, yeah, good ways to go up here. So if you want to stay up to date, listen to the radio stations up here is the way to do that. Definitely. And you can hear the latest and greatest of country music at KDZY, and you can turn into Star to jam out to the best of adult contemporaries. Next up, Napa Auto Parts, serving Valley and Adams counties for more than 30 years. They do auto, truck, heavy duty. They take care of all of your parts needs because up here, there's a lot of people that do their own works on their, their own work on their own cars. Definitely, and, and just like Les Schwab, Napa Auto Parts, those guys, if you go in there, they I actually love hanging out there. <laughs> You hang out at the auto parts I, store. Well, That's I awesome. Mean, I may like hang out, say hi, but they're just interesting to chat with about your car. That is cool. I mean, if you need to fix it yourself, they have all the answers for you. They're very knowledgeable. Nap Auto Parts and McCall and Council on your side. And of course, Here's one that's very close, near and dear to our hearts. Who are these guys? The Tokyo 2020 uh -huh, Olympics weird, are coming up. Ryan. I bet you didn't hear about that. There's our KTVB float. This is incredible. It's this Hello Kitty. We got Sonic the Hedgehog. Luigi's here as well as Pikachu. So excited for the 2020 Games coming up this summer and the place to watch it, Idaho's News Channel 7. And you would not believe who else is with this float. I just saw meteorologist Larry Geber. Right. He's dressed as himself today. He's dressed as himself today as he is every day, but he is he's one of Idaho's favorites. I mean, look at this guy. He needs more beads. He does need more beads. Somebody yeah. throw Larry some beads, will you? 
We need to work on this, but Larry's out here. He brought us the sunshine, Brian. He did. He's he did. On. We can thank Larry for the sunshine today. Larry, there's somebody saying thank you right now. If we ever get, you know, bad credit for any of the bad weather going on, we got to get the good credit too, so. 2020 Tokyo Games coming up before you know it. We're going to be ready for that. You can see it all on KTVB Idaho's News Channel 7. Up next, the Boise Veterans Center, traveling mobile veterans center that meets with veterans and rural communities to discuss their benefits, services, and what's available, and counseling too, which is obviously a huge right. deal. Yes, mental health is a huge part of their platform and the mobile unit makes its way all throughout rural Idaho to make sure veterans get reached. That's amazing. L take a look at that ride. I mean, that's it could go anywhere with that thing. It, could, it really could. We appreciate them. And then we know how difficult it is for sometimes, especially in the wintertime, for some of our vets to get to the services, so why not bring those services to them? Exactly. Up next, we have Idaho Power, which, of course, we wouldn't be on air right now without <laughs> Idaho Power. Par power to party on. That's what that is. They've been providing Long Valley with the power to party on for more than 100 years. Their employees are proud to provide the community with clean, reliable energy. And, of course, they serve as your trusted energy advisor. Look at their, their Mardi Gras theme is all out. They may be the most Mardi Gras-esque of the day. If there's a prize for that, I think there is. They've just won <laughs> we just, it. We just made it. We just made it. There should be. <laughs> Idaho Power is a great community pa partner, and we, um, we love working with them. And they're there in emergencies as well. When power goes out, sometimes those power lines freeze up, crack. They're right yes, there to fix it. Yes, in all types of weather. Yep. Ridley's Market is up next. They've been serving customers since 1984 here in the McCall area. And they've been beating, beating down those high prices ever since. And if you've not been to their completely remodeled store, you should definitely go check that out. Where is that? They are located on Dinehart Lane at the main intersection when you come into town from the south. Um, they have done an extensive remodel. Awesome. Just like Albertsons. I mean, for groceries around here, we are blessed. You are definitely blessed. You got those two entities competing against each other for the coolest store in town. <laughs> Lots of neat things. The Castle Mountain Homes is our next participant here in the Mardi Gras Parade. Castle Mountain Homes, family owned and operated, full restoration company. They've been doing everything from general contracting to honeydews, and they've been in business for 14 plus years. They started in Garden Valley back in 2005, and they expanded up here to McCall in 2018. They give us, their slogan is, give us your worst, we'll give you our best. Got some guys riding casually up front there. Yeah, Arms just on crossed. the front. See if we can get them to catch a smile. Exactly. <laughs> and they've done a good job on their float as well. They, they got did. the kids involved. Have a little scene going with the trees. Yes, with these restoration and construction companies, they're definitely there when maybe you're having a hard time at home, but they're there for you. Take a look at one more before we take a quick break. Ben's Handyman Service has been serving McCall area residents and visitors for all your home maintenance and improvement needs for the last four years. New to town, but they've made quite the impression here in McCall. I'm proud to be part of the parade today. We're gonna take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more coverage of the Mardi Gras Parade here, part of the 2019 McCall Winter Carnival. Stay with us. Welcome back to the 2019 McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade. And we've entered into that realm of the parade where we get some of those outdoor horsemen types that uh, are very prevalent here in Valley County and throughout uh, southern Idaho. We have the Baker County Fair Royal Rodeo Royalty passing by right now. 
Queen Kelsey and Princesses Laramie and Lavina would like to invite everyone to an action-packed Labor Day weekend coming up in beautiful Halfway, Oregon. That's coming up. That's just outside of our range here. It's not too far away. Not too far. Just, just over the hills? Just over the hills. Just over the Hell's Canyon. That's it. <laughs> um, rodeo is one of my favorite things. If you haven't been to a rodeo while you've been in Idaho, get on it. And you know one of the best ones is just up the road up in Riggins. Oh, First wow. weekend in May. All I can say is wow. Wow. It is an experience if you have not had it. You need to have it. Classic Idaho. It is classic Idaho. The Western Riding Club there, all decorated. They're green and purple for the Mardi Gras parade. Their royalty, the senior queen, McKenna, team queen, Carissa, and the mini queen, Taylor, in the back of that pickup truck. Western Riding Club founded in 1941. They continue the tradition of bringing people together who share the love of horses and all horse activities. The McCall Mar Gra Mardi Gras parade, one of their favorite events of of the Adams year. County and how about this? Here's the Adams, Adams County Adams Rodeo County Royalty. Royalty. That's Mackenzie Crockett in the back of that truck. Look how small and young Adams she County is. I know. These these uh, young Adams girls and boys work so hard between 4-H and just learning, you know. If you want to learn some responsibility, exactly. get a horse. And learn learn to get up early. <laughs> exactly. Get up early. Um, yep. Stay up late sometimes. Exactly. You're cleaning up messes you didn't plan on it. And this still is a lot. It is a lot. There goes the Harlow Bus Services. They made. The, I think they made their. Looks Look like a that. like a dragon, almost they almost did. like Charlie. But we're gonna get to Charlie a little bit later on in the parade. But I know Bree down on the roadway there on Third Street. You have somebody and a group that is Here always turned this into a party. That is the Mountain Samba group. They love, every year they come through and they put on a great show, right. dancing, singing, getting the crowd Everybody involved. Staple, they practice many weeks no. leading I, up to the I, event. I think we'd be remiss if we didn't go down to Bree and see if she could learn some samba moves down there. I, I think we may have lost Bree. She may have just gotten caught she up got in the moment. She the samba. I, totally. She's well involved right now. <laughs> She's dancing. We lost her. <laughs> Let's take a look and listen of Mountain Samba coming through. What I love about this group, Lindsay, is it's all ages. It is all ages. And uh, they've got the percussionists, of course. We got to give a shout out to the people that literally keep it moving. <laughs> oh, so fun. And I love the costumes. I mean, they just, they're better and better every year. Very vibrant. Yes, they're a volunteer group that uh, are, they just love participating. What do they do besides dance around town? Do they do other things? You know, that's a good question. <laughs> I just know that they have always done they get a group together, whoever wants to participate. And I think the percussionists maybe play together throughout the year. Check out this impressive float coming down. This is High Desert Wildlife and Pest Solutions. They are a veteran-owned company in the surrounding area. Their focus is wildlife controls, decontamination services to include crawl space, attic restorations, controlling lawn, destroying varmints, and all other pest control services. And they do commercial properties as well. They do offer free inspections. So give them a call for your free inspection and any service they provide. On that note, we are going to take one more break here. You are enjoying the 2019 McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. We're going to bring you more of it right after this.